They got sucked into the vortex of Brattleboro because adults were doing fun things here. Originally from Somerville, Rolf Parker Houghton is a writer who believes that fun and games aren't just for kids. He and his artist wife Cynthia formed the University of Brattleboro, a creative collaborative specializing in puzzle making and goofy gags. That's really the purpose of the University of Brattleboro, is just to entertain people. There's always like a historical angle on these things. Antics include unearthing an imagined UFO crash site and creating stories about both fictional and real characters. T.P. James was an actual Brattleboro publisher who claimed in 1873 that the ghost of Charles Dickens helped him complete Dickens' final novel, The Mystery of Edwin Drood. The Parker Houghtons pretend that James also left clues to find treasure. The idea is that there were these notebooks that are found with treasures all over Brattleboro. Those treasures are buried diamonds. To find them, locals decipher puzzles like this cryptogram made by Cynthia. So there's a map, and that's also a hint about where it's located. So here is your diamond to hide somewhere on the trail. Anywhere. Anywhere, and we will write a cryptogram telling people where it is hidden. The 10 mile long retreat trail is a perfect hiding place, sort of. It's so nice to be out here in the woods, taking in the fresh air, but there's other people that aren't as comfortable. That's my producer right there. <laughs> Mosquitoes aside, we forge ahead. You can find locations anywhere. There's thousands of good spots to hide a diamond. It's beautiful out here. What do you think? Is this my spot? Mission accomplished. Shane is treasure. Whoever decodes this cryptogram will find my buried treasure. Good luck. We should mention that many of these puzzles are not made by an ordinary artist. Cynthia Parker Houghton is lead designer for Natalie Blake Studios in Brattleboro. So this is a process called graffito. These undulating designs are the hallmark of the clay work here, says the studio's founder. I felt like I kind of unwrapped my vessels onto the wall and started making textural pieces and then they kind of evolved into scenes and imagery. Natalie Blake has had a long career in ceramics. She also co-owns Fire Arts, a gallery representing 25 artists, including glassblower Randy Solon and her team. I don't know what it is about Brattleboro. It just has drawn a unique, eclectic group of people. Because we produce the creative economy, people that appreciate the creative economy come here, and we're now known as a hub for that. That creative economy includes a much beloved landmark, the Latches Theater and Hotel. The Art Deco style is not a style that's very prevalent in Vermont. There are only three public buildings in Vermont that have an Art Deco look to it. The Greek decor on the inside, which honors the family's heritage, is unique and together we call our look Greco Deco. All the murals communicate something about the importance of performing in a theater and supporting and sustaining a theater. John Potter is executive director. Demetrius Lachis moved here from Greece in 1901 to start a new life here and started by pushing a fruit cart through the town. Business flourished so much that eventually the Latches family entered the theater business. They built this building with cash during the depression for about $600,000. It opened on September 22nd, 1938. That opening day was delayed for one day by the hurricane of 38. Today, these 750 seats fill up for movies, performances, and community events. Whenever uh, Bernie Sanders comes to town, he often uh, comes here to speak to people and, and fill the theater. Theater goers who are too tired to drive home can just head upstairs to the attached 30-room boutique hotel. The intent always was to have a hotel and a theater, as well as retail spaces and restaurants so that people wouldn't even have to leave the building to have all of their needs met while they're having a nice weekend uh, stay in Brattleboro. 
And John Potter says the theater is very active in community support. Are they ever? For the past 10 decades or so, they have asked residents to fill uh, theater seats once a year, every mm. summer, with grocery bags. And then they mm. give those grocery bags to people in the community experiencing food insecurity. Mm. It's a wonderful thing that they do. And back to the cryptogram leading to my treasure. It was <laughs> actually discovered, but they have <laughs> replenished the gem. So if you're in that area and you want to try to find it, go for it. I didn't see you wearing that. Uh, no, I no. wish. <laughs> a little too much, maybe. Up next.